Have you ever wondered about the current performance of AMD's GPUs? Let's take a dive into the heart of the matter. AMD's GPUs have been giving a tough competition in terms of raw performance. They're like the dynamo powerlifters of the gaming world flexing their muscles and showcasing their strength, but there's a twist in the story. When it comes to the high-end gaming market, ray tracing is the name of the game. And here, AMD's GPUs, despite their raw power, are trailing behind. Now you might be wondering, what's this ray tracing everyone's talking about? Well, it's like the secret sauce that brings realism to your gaming experience. It simulates the natural behavior of light, casting shadows, reflections, and glows that make your virtual worlds come to life. And in this league of extraordinary visual effects, NVIDIA is currently leading the race. Their GPUs are like the master chefs, perfectly blending the ingredients of raw power and ray tracing, delivering a mouth-watering gaming experience. On the other hand, AMD's GPUs, while being quite the powerhouses, are still trying to get their ray tracing recipe right. There are a couple of directions AMD could take to bridge this gap. One is enhancing their ray tracing cores, the dedicated chefs inside their GPUs that cook up the ray tracing magic. The other is perfecting their Fidelity.fx Super Resolution, or FSR 3.0, which is their secret recipe for boosting performance without compromising on the taste, or in our case, the image quality. There's also a bit of gossip in the tech grapevine that AMD might be setting its sights on the mid-range market for their next-gen GPUs. Now, this could mean their high-end features like ray tracing might not be the top priority. But hey, rumors are rumors. In the grand scheme of things, what we as consumers really want is a healthy rivalry between AMD and NVIDIA. This competition is the driving force behind innovation, pushing the boundaries and bringing us better products at all price points. So we see that AMD's GPUs are quite competitive, but there's a catch. Ray tracing? Now, let's delve into this ray tracing problem a bit more. Ray tracing is a rendering technique that generates an image by tracing the path of light as pixels in an image plane, simulating the effects of its encounters with virtual objects. It's like a simulation of how light behaves in the real world. This technique is capable of producing incredibly realistic lighting effects, including reflections, refractions, and shadows. It gives games a level of realism that was previously unattainable. However, ray tracing is computationally intense. It requires a lot of processing power, which is why it's typically a feature of high-end graphics cards. It's like the cherry on top of the gaming sundae. Not necessary for a good experience, but it definitely makes things sweeter. Now, when it comes to ray tracing, NVIDIA is currently leading the pack. Their RTX series GPUs have dedicated ray tracing cores, which means they're specifically designed to handle the heavy lifting that comes with ray tracing. This has given NVIDIA an edge in the market, especially among gamers who crave the most realistic graphics possible. On the other hand, AMD has been lagging a bit in this area. While their GPUs offer competitive raw performance, they've been struggling to keep up with NVIDIA when it comes to ray tracing. This is not to say that AMD's GPUs are incapable of ray tracing. Far from it. But compared to NVIDIA, their performance in this area is not as strong. This is a bit of a problem for AMD, especially since ray tracing is becoming more and more important in the world of gaming. More and more games are starting to support ray tracing and gamers are starting to expect it. It's becoming less of a luxury and more of a standard feature. So AMD is facing a bit of a challenge here. They need to improve their ray tracing capabilities if they want to keep up with NVIDIA and meet the demands of gamers. They need to make ray tracing a priority in their next gen GPUs. And that's where AMD needs to step up its game in ray tracing. So, how can AMD solve this GPU problem? Well, firstly, let's talk about improving those dedicated ray tracing cores. This is the heart of the hardware where the magic happens. By creating more powerful and efficient cores, AMD could significantly boost their ray tracing performance. This would bring them closer to NVIDIA's level of performance and even potentially surpass it. It's not a simple task by any means, but with AMD's track record of innovation, it's certainly within the realm of possibility. Now onto our second solution, FSR 3.0. If you're not familiar with FSR, it stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. In plain English, it's a technology that helps games look better without making your GPU work harder. It's AMD's response to NVIDIA's DLSS. But to really compete, FSR 3.0 needs to be a significant leap forward. 
Imagine it like this. If the GPU is a sports car, then FSR is like getting a turbocharger. It doesn't make the engine bigger, but it helps it work more efficiently, giving you more power without guzzling gas. In the same way, FSR 3.0 could help AMD's GPUs deliver better performance without needing extra hardware. These solutions aren't without their challenges, of course. More powerful ray tracing cores could mean higher costs and increased power consumption, while a more advanced FSR might require more development time and resources. But if AMD can pull it off, they could significantly level the playing field with NVIDIA. And let's not forget the big picture here. This isn't just about AMD versus NVIDIA, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in gaming. With better ray tracing and performance boosting technologies like FSR, we're talking about more immersive and realistic gaming experiences for everyone, regardless of what hardware they're using. With better ray tracing cores and a revamped FSR, AMD could potentially give NVIDIA a run for its money. But what does all this mean for the broader GPU market? Well, to start, there are whispers in the tech community that AMD may be placing its next-gen focus on the mid-range market. Now, this could be a strategic move given the high demand for affordable yet powerful GPUs. However, this could also mean that their high-end offerings, where features like ray tracing become increasingly important, might not receive the same level of attention. If these rumors are true, AMD could be betting on winning the hearts of the many rather than the few. They might focus on delivering solid performance at a more palatable price point, thereby appealing to a larger segment of the gaming community. This could mean that they're willing to cede the ray tracing high ground to NVIDIA, at least for the time being. But let's not forget, the real beauty of the GPU market is competition. It's a tug of war between giants, a constant push and pull that drives both AMD and NVIDIA to innovate, to strive for that next big leap in technology. And that's a win for us, the consumers. It's this competition that has given us groundbreaking features like ray tracing, real-time rendering, and AI-powered performance boosts. So, even if AMD is dialing back on the high-end market, they're still in the race. They're still pushing NVIDIA to do better and vice versa. And who knows, maybe AMD's rumored strategy could trigger a shift in the market, a new focus on delivering high-end features at mid-range prices. In the end, it's all about competition and innovation, and that's good news for us, the consumers. The GPU market is a thrilling game of chess, with each move by AMD or NVIDIA potentially sparking a revolution in how we game. So let's keep our fingers crossed for AMD's next-gen GPUs and see where this exciting journey takes us. So what have we learned today? We've delved into the world of GPUs with AMD at the center of our discussion. We've seen that AMD's GPUs have commendable raw performance, but when it comes to ray tracing, they're trailing behind NVIDIA. Ray tracing is no longer a luxury feature, it's a necessity, especially for high-end cards where gamers and professionals alike are demanding more realism in their visual experiences. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. We've outlined potential solutions that could pave the way for AMD to level up. First, they could up their game by enhancing the dedicated ray tracing cores. This would enable their GPUs to handle the intensive calculations required for ray tracing, thereby closing the gap with NVIDIA. Second, AMD's FSR 3.0 could be the game changer. This is AMD's response to DLSS, a technology that optimizes performance while preserving image quality. If AMD can make significant strides with FSR 3.0, it could provide a much-needed boost to their ray tracing capabilities. However, we must also consider the broader implications. There are whispers that AMD is shifting their focus to the mid-range market, which might mean less emphasis on high-end features like ray tracing, while this strategy could be beneficial for a specific segment of consumers, it might leave the high-end users wanting more. Regardless, it's important to remember that competition is the lifeblood of innovation. A strong rivalry between AMD and NVIDIA will inevitably lead to advancements in GPU technology, benefiting all consumers in the long run. And with that, we wrap up our deep dive into AMD's GPU performance and the exciting possibilities that lie ahead. Remember in the tech world there's always something new around the corner.